हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिक्वेस्ट हैजिंग और कैशे डीबाउंसिंग सो सी डी एंस जनरली यूज इज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी वेरी हैवीली वी वुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट यूजिंग फ्यू यूज केसेस फर्स्ट यूज केसेस विल सी द न्यू प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च यूज केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिर इज ए एप्पल कंपनी हु हैज़ इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दैट वी वुड बी लॉन्चिंग द आईफोन प्रोडक्ट on this particular date at this particular time so what would happen as everyone in the world knows okay that on this date at this time that iphone would be launched so what would happen huge surge of request would coming at the same time right so we will see how to solve this kind of problem right so we'll see the different approaches how we can solve this problem and then eventually we'll see how cdns solve the same problem during the live streaming so let's get started so so that's a simple use case that for a specific product we have to fetch the product details that's a very simple use case right now as i mentioned apple has already announced the launch date and time for this product the iphone and uh, everyone in the world knows that on this particular day at this particular time that this product would be launched right now for simplicity we are assuming that it's a single database single database can very well uh, means um, uh, handle all the load for simplicity let's assume it's a single database and there is not much high rights because assume in this database we are just storing the product details nothing else just for simplicity just uh, assume this way now what would what is our problem what problem we need to solve as an engineer we need to solve at the same launch time millions of users would try to fetch the product details how do we solve this right so everyone start think thinking and sabse pehle mind mein ye aata hai ki let's start using the cache okay let's start using the cache so as the first thought first thought comes in mind is the using the cache it could be any cache it could be redis or any kind of centralized cache which we can use so that everyone can be on same page so let's start using the cache now what would be the flow the api servers uh, also using the cache and also has the database right and uh, what would happen uh, the product details would be fetched from the cache that's all right but initially this cache is empty the because the product details are still not uh, you know not uh, announced publicly or not exposed to this redis as well just assume this way now this redis cache is also still empty now what would happen uh, everyone think okay that with this cache our problem is solved no the problem is still not solved why the problem is still there because initially the cache will won't have any kind of data right won't have any information about specific specific product for example this iphone 16 right our redis cache don't have any information about this right now uh, why the problem is still not solved because imagine at the same launch time 1 million request comes right no every request would have the cache miss because uh the product details are still not found in the cache right now every request would see the cache and would see there is no data in the cache so what would happen in the code base the api code base that if the data is not available in the cache just hit the database to get the product details this is the general flow right now every request would hit the database and eventually the database would be crashed right now how to solve this problem because the problem is still not solved we although we have introduced cache the uh, 1 million surge request uh, uh, is still a problem but subsequent request would be processed once the cache has the data then it would be a cake walk but this is the main problem the initial cache population and at the same time the huge surge of request are coming right how to solve this problem no so 
Let's observe few things. What we have observed till now is API servers can scale very easily because they are stateless. Now, huge surge of requests are hitting the database. That is the main problem. That is the main crux which we need to solve. How we can prevent this thing? Firstly, we need to look into let's build the intuition how we can solve this. So, firstly, we have to prevent this hit uh, this request hitting the database, right? Now the problem is reduced to now is 1 million request hitting the database right so 1 million connections the problem is uh, 1 million hitting uh, 1 million request hitting the database so there are 1 million connections would also be established and eventually we would get the too many connections error from the database now how we would solve this problem is everyone would say okay let's start using the connection pooling okay Let's start using the connection pooling. Connection pooling will ensure that limited number of connections with the database. Now, for example, we have uh, configured the connection pooling in such a way that only the 500 connections can be established at a time, right? Now our problem is reduced to, right? 1 million request, 500 connections to the database, right? Out of 1 million request, 500 requests would go through, right? and rest will still wait rest will still wait because there are there are the connections are not available although somehow we avoided the database crash right but still the problem is still same why because still 1 million request has still seen the cache miss right and all the 1 million request would go to the database because we have already seen the cache right and uh, they are they at the database uh, side only they are at the waiting state because the connections are in the waiting because they, this request would wait till the till they get the connection right now we have avoided the database crash but still 1 million requests are still hitting the database how to solve this problem now right let's see how to solve this problem and this is where the request hedging or caching debossing concept is right now as we have mentioned okay that we are using the cache redis or any centralized cache now assume the 123 is the product id for the iphone this is just for specification i have just uh, uh, mentioned this the rest endpoint just take an example that this is the 123 is the product id and this is the rest endpoint what would happen is the request would come on to the api server api server would see that whether it has the request whether uh, the cache has the data or not if the cache has the data it would return the response directly to the user to the client but now where was the main problem where main problem was when there was no data in the cache about this uh, product right now how we can solve this problem is we can in the api code base itself right we can introduce this kind of structure where we can use the map and key let's assume k key, key is product id and the value could be sema4 or reentrant log any kind of mutex uh, we can use it right now this would be the final flow how we can prevent this 1 million request hitting the database right now this is the uh, crux that this and this is would be the final flow the request would come on to the api server api server would hit the redis and if the data found it would return that's a very very happy path but now assume where the uh, where was our main problem the data not found now what would happen here is let's assume these are the two main uh, methods in our code base that firstly it will try to get the data from cache every request would try to get the data from cache the data won't be available right and if not available it would call this method okay that if the product is null right if it is null right in java if it is null or none in python so if that is null it would call the semaphore it would call this method actually get data from db and the populate cache right so what it would do just for simpler uh, explanation i have used semaphore here but you can use re re and read write lock any kind of uh, exclusive lock which uh, is available in any kind of language you can easily use that 
now for example is a semaphore semaphore there is a method uh, accept method there which would uh, in this method only the first request would go in this critical section right and uh, the other threads all the other request would still be blocked would still be wait that is at the operating system level we are not handling this way right so all the request would still wait and once this first request would get the response from the database here also it would get the data from deb db here also i'm just mentioning get data from db right and uh, then it would call the uh, redis cache to populate the product details and finally the semaphore would be released and further now all the request would be served easily from the cache so now now in earlier case as we have seen the million request were still going into the database for getting the product details by using this approach that won't happen because the code just here I'm, i have just written the kind of uh, concept here but the code actually would be uh, it would be like semaphore dot accept right and then again it will check redis call to get the data right and uh, if it is still null then only it would call this method get data from db and then it would populate the cache to update the cache and finally the semaphore would be released so this would be the core logic implementation wise actually because otherwise if we don't call this method then the further request would still hit the database this is just the one tweak we need to do we need to call the redis again to get the data and check if the data is there or not if not then only hit the database right if the data is there then this won't be applicable this would be conditional actually right so that is what uh, the cache debouncing is uh, now let's move to the cdn use case how cdn is solving the same problem right now cdn behind the scenes use the edge server cdn has lot of edge servers and usually uh, uh, i'm not explaining what is cdn here but i'm just explaining the main problem uh, what happens during the live stream and how we can solve the problem where the high surge of request comes for the same video chunk or same images or any any kind of thing right so cdn has the edge servers and edge servers are you know are uh, located geographically across the world right so request would be routed to the closest uh, edge server right now what would happen here is for example here uh, the match is being running on ground and uh, during the live streaming there could be kind of api server and which api server what is the responsibility somehow the video chunk would be uploading onto this s3 or any kind of blob storage where these chunks keep getting uploaded right and we can call this is as origin servers right now what would happen here is cdns usually how they work here is that if they don't found the data in the cache they would get the data from the origin server now imagine during the live streaming 10 million people are watching the same time and all are looking for the same video chunk right because uh, for example the match is streaming the uh, match is streaming and uh, now continuously the stream is getting uploaded right now our browsers are also hitting request uh, continuously for the next chunk now imagine for 10 million people the same request is going onto this ad server right and onto this ad server and all the requests are going to the s3 right one 10 million requests are going to the s3 it would incur high cost and also the uh, low uh, user experience 
right so what cdn actually does is they use the same kind of concept uh, instead of in memory they store the video chunk in disk right usually uh, they store images and the videos in disk and that's how cdn actually caches it right now this way the same concept applies here every edge server has the code the similar what i explained earlier here is that they can use the semaphore or any kind of mutex or uh, any kind of lock here to prevent the further request going to the origin server so that's how our origin servers are being protected by placing cdns in front of it so uh, that's all uh, for today if you uh, really like the understanding please do like subscribe and share among your friends i'll be posting uh, exciting stuff on this channel so please uh, do like subscribe and share thanks thanks a lot